Very nice. We've got uh, nine or ten more of these RGBs to go here. They have been quite annoying because the size of shrink tubing I have really tight, but alternating one on, one off, one on, one off, and then a bigger piece around there. After I solder on the RGBs, I just pull these two small ones up, get them to the top of the LED, and then pull the bigger one. Cooker, baby. This is just a quick little tech demo of these new Ningbo Sunboy um, LEDs that I got. No, these aren't Ningbo. These are from, anyways, the massive bright. Blind the camera here for a second. Watch the wall here. Here at the gravel. Nice, eh? In the dark forest. What are we looking for? Oh, the Eye of Horus. Nice. The upside down one. This lady's making eyes of horrors on my horses. Horrors. Horrors. This lady's just smiling right now. Being, spirits. <laughs> You're on video. <laughs> what are woman update here? These are the last of the red, green, blues that need to be processed for Water Woman. This is the 220 meter section, which is right here. And so every four meters, I've got alternating white and red, green, blue, and they can all be controlled on separate channels. It takes uh, six different wires to be able to control them all. And uh, this thing's shaping up. It's going to be done very, 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 very soon. moon tonight. It looks like I arrived just in time to center it with the tree. Isn't that amazing? These are good times. These are good times. Okay, we've got the 220 meters down here, alternating red, green, blue, and whites every four meters. Let's uh, hook a battery pack up here. There's the reds. Now these aren't running full bright. I need to cut this string in half and give it two, two power sources. And uh, all of these work except for two. I was really impressed with that. Light up the whites over here. There we go. 
So there's the whites, all of those work. That's kind of close to the brightness they'll be, but more. It's kind of just burnt my eyes. That is good. There's the blues. And here's the greens. Cool, eh? And these will be a lot better than this, but just testing it. Awesome. Cool. Fix these. Yeah. Kind of taking to demonstrate. See that? All working now. Oh, this is my favorite part here. Deer, 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 deer. Okay, I have a lighter. So in our last video, we had the 320 or 220 meter here done. It's uh, red, green, blues, and whites alternating every four meters. Those are all tested and working now. We'll put it into the done pile. Look at that, it's massive. All the cable is done for the festival so far. It's a lot of work. This is all the remaining cable that needs to be processed for the final original order. Just added shrink tubing to all these, gonna solder on some LEDs. This is for the vendor village, 100 meters to go around. made a new map here to figure out where these cables went because I didn't mark down what they were for. And by making these charts and arrows and stuff and some lucky guesses and some added up math, we got it all figured out. So onwards, upwards, outwards. Be done this soon, I think uh, maybe in a day or two. Cheers. This is um, 100 meters, it says 103, whatever, a couple extras, all right. <clears throat> this is the uh, vendor village. So, let's get southern. Cool. There we are. 120, no, 100 meter for vendor village whites. I think every four meters. <coughs> Those are all done. Just got to slip up the shrink tubing, heat that, and, uh, and we're on to the next little bit. This is moving along. Awesome, here's a bunch of uh, white hats, uh, beautiful white lights that are on 40, this is 80 meters here, I just finished half of 80 meters, got to put some colors on this side now, I'm going to do all greens here, really bright powerful greens, alright, see you in a sec. <laughs> 